In this video, we're going to learn how to use the string count method in Python, which allows us to count the number of occurrences of a string in another string. So the first thing we'll do is create a string. We'll have here string is equal to to be or not to be. We can use the count method to count the occurrences of the word be in this string. We can have here b count is equal to string dot count and we can pass the count method, the string, that we want to count the occurrences of. So we'll have here the string b. Then we can output the b count with print b count. So we can save our program and try it out. And we get a b count of two. And that makes sense because b occurs in the string twice, here and here. Next, let's try to count the occurrences of the word two. So we could have here to count is equal to string dot count two. And then here we could output the to count with print to count. So we can save our program again and then run it. And we can see that the to count is one. And that might be surprising because the word two does occur in the string twice. But this count method doesn't count words and strings. What it counts is the occurrences of this string in this string here. And this string here with lowercase t only occurs once here. We can also use the count method to count the occurrences of a letter in a string. So for example, we could have here o count is equal to string.count and we'll pass it the string with a single character o. This will give us the total occurrences of the character o in the string. We could then print the O count here. And if we save our program and run it, we get an O count of four. And that is correct because we have one O here, one O here, one O here, and one O here. Now the count method also has two optional arguments. We can also supply the count method with start and end indexes. And then the count method will only count occurrences of the string that occur between those indexes. So for example, with this string here, the uppercase T character here is going to occur at the index zero. This next character will occur at the index one and so on. And then over here, if we have a character and another character, this space character here will occur at the index 12 we could search for the occurrences of the character O between the indexes two and 12. And in that case, we should only have two occurrences of the character O. Let's try this out. Down here, we'll have O range count is equal to string dot count O. And then for the two optional arguments, we'll have two for the start index and 12 for the end index. Then we can output O range count. And if we save our program and try it out, we do see that O range count is two. So this is how we can use the string count method to count the occurrences of a string in another string in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.